Now the next solid structure which we are going to discuss on the topic of menstruation is a cylinder. A cube and a cuboid has its own respective shape and the dimensions. Similarly, let's see what is a cylinder, a solid structure of menstruation. Imagine I have this pen stand. In this pen stand, we identify that this is having a circle at the base and even circular at the at the bot at the top, but even the side is completely curved. So if this is completely curved and imagine I want to cut this and then see what exactly this curved part would be when I strip it. See, as I see this, this is called a cylinder. So let's see each of how we can identify the lateral surface area or the curved surface area and the total surface area and the volume. So before we understand the cylinder, let me just draw the diagram of cylinder here where I have, say for example, this is how I draw where this is the top surface and this is the bottom surface is how I get the cylinder. <laughs> now let me say the radius of this cylinder when I have the circular region the radius of this cylinder is say it's R. This is the radius and let me say the height of the cylinder is H. Now based on the dimensions of the radius and the height of the cylinder let's see how we can find the complete areas of the lateral surface area or the total surface area of the cylinder. <coughs> now, when I have the upper region which is a circle and the lower region which is a circle, then I have area of this circle as pi r square is what we get. So initially let me start with each of the cylinder where this is a circle so when I divide the region initially the upper part comes out as a circle and this curved surface comes in the middle and down part which is a circle comes down is how we understand the cylinder with three basic structures one is the circle one is the curved part and one is also the other circle. Exactly these two circles are equal. So area of this circle is no doubt pi r squared which we all know. And area of this circle also being equal to that is also pi r squared. Now the question comes on how I find the area of this. Now as I said this clearly is curved and hence this is called curved surface area. This is flat, so flat, flat or flat instead. It is open here and this here, it is curved. So I need to find the curved surface area of the curved part. How do I find this is the biggest question out here. So in case of this, imagine I cut the cylinder at one region and then I pull it up then I see that this curved part becomes a rectangular strip. As you can visualize this, I identify that when I cut this and expand, this becomes a complete rectangular strip, which again on rolling becomes a curved cylinder, the curved part of the cylinder. <laughs> so the area of this curved part is nothing but the area of this rectangular strip. So let's see how the area of this rectangular strip can be found using the geometrical dimensions. Now coming to this, I clearly see that this is nothing but 2 pi r. Why is this 2 pi r? Because this acts as the circumference of the circle. As I see that this strip is totally out here in this form. So when I pull this, I totally get the circumference of the circle becoming the length of the rectangle. 
the whole of the strip circumference becomes the length of the rectangle so this being circumference of circle is nothing but length of rectangle <coughs> and obviously my height which is the width of the rectangle is h therefore my total surface area is area of the upper region area of the lower region and area of the rectangle which we clearly know that the area of this rectangle is 2 pi r into h because length into width is this into this which comes as this therefore if i wanted to find curved surface area i take only the curved part which is nothing but the rectangle as i can see that the curved part when pulled straight on the flat surface i get a rectangular strip with these dimensions therefore curved surface area would be 2 pi r into h is how i understand the curved surface area of a cylinder <laughs> next comes on what is the total surface area of a cylinder as i see that the total surface is the curved surface plus the top and the bottom surface when i split this this plus this plus this is nothing but the tsa of a cylinder this being pi r square and area of this being area of this which is 2 pi r h and here the area of this being pi r square gives me when i simplify this i get 2 pi r times r plus tsa of a cylinder and curved surface area of a cylinder is given by this and the cylinder which stands for its curved surface area and the top and the bottom <coughs> now interestingly in this question sometimes as i see this particular object i see that this is an open cylinder sometimes we have the closed tents which are closed cylinders now the question is if i wanted to find the surface area of an open cylinder for example this case then i don't have the open surface but i have the bottom surface so in this case my surface area or the total surface area would be csa plus one of the circle but i don't include this circle because there's no area it is hollow inside so in this case of this cylinder let me see what the area is for one side open so in case of a one sided open cylinder no. let's see what is the total surface area covering the complete curved surface and the top and the bottom now as i see that this is a one sided open cylinder i see one of its side is open that means i don't include the circle on the top but i include the circular region on the bottom therefore the upper part of is not included only the middle of the curved surface and the bottom circle is included so that when i wanted to find we already know that the curved surface here is 2 pi r h which is already found in the previous session and area of this circle is pi r square therefore my tsa of an open cylinder is 2 pi r h plus pi r square is what we get or to simplify this further pi r into 2 h plus r is the total surface area of a one sided open cylinder so now with this we can imagine on how the two sided open cylinder will have the tsa so note the total surface area of a two sided two side open cylinder would be can you guess a two sided open cylinder does not have even this circle into existence so it is nothing but the csa <coughs> it is nothing but csa and that is 2 pi r h so tsa of a two side open cylinder is nothing but the curved surface area only the curved part included and that is 2 pi r h unit square is how we understand 
the surface areas connected through the geometrical dimensions of radius and height of a cylinder. Now next comes on how do I find the volume of the cylinder? How do I know how much space does the cylinder occupy inside the region? So how do we find the volume is the biggest question next. Now here the next question is about the volume. As we know that volume of a solid structure is area of base into height. So let's use that general property of a volume to see what exactly is the volume of the cylinder. So as I find that volume is area of base into height, therefore volume of cylinder is nothing but area of base which is a circle and hence area of the circle is pi r square times the height of the cylinder is h therefore it is pi r square times h that implies volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h unit q units are very important in solving the problems getting the answer and putting the units in mensuration has to be taken proper care with. Now this is how we get the volume of the cylinder which is pi r square h unit cube.